And salons and barbershops are open for business again with a few changes to fit in with COVID-19 health guidelines. They are all regulated by the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation. Employees and customers are screened for COVID-19 symptoms. Everyone is required to wear a mask and you are encouraged to call ahead to make sure one that your salon is open and ask about the requirements they have. And with more salons reopening here locally, the lines we're already seeing them piling up. Our Ashley Gonzalez is live outside of Headliners Barber Lounge in Portland. And Ashley, this barber shop has a unique story, I understand. Leslie, this barbershop indeed has a unique story. During Super Bowl weekend, I actually met with the mother of a coworker here, and they couldn't. They were telling me how they couldn't wait till they opened up. That was on March 7th, and well, little did we know what was going to happen. And well, it's right behind me, and there's a lot of cars out here. I'm going to step out of the frame so you can see. And earlier, we spoke. We spoke to the manager to talk about what it's been like during these times, and here's what he had to say. It was horrible, like heartbreaking like we had just got a team together and and we were finally starting to get somewhere and uh, I mean we were busy every day since we opened so I mean I mean it hurt the community and it hurt us too so um, yeah I never want to experience anything like that again Miller also said for the safety of employees and customer each barber tends to only one client at a time and it's only recommended that they wear a mask reporting from Portland Ashley Gonzalez Three news. All right, Ashley, thank you so much. And many businesses have been, of course, affected by COVID-19, including tattoo shops. Brian McDaniel is the owner of Fat Tats Tattoo and Sacred Trade Tattoo in Corpus Christi. He says he's lost thousands of dollars for being closed just over the last two months. I got a lot of bills to pay. My rent is is due regardless. You know, the governor put that order out that you couldn't be evicted, but that doesn't stop landlords from evicting you after the fact. And we want to go about it the right way. We're, we're talking to state representatives trying to get it done. I don't want to risk losing my license over opening up without permission. That was McDaniel protesting in Austin and McDaniel says that tattoo shops are certified in cross contamination, disease prevention, CPR and should be allowed to reopen just like barbershops, nail and hair salons have been allowed to.